Hi everybody, my name is Tom Solid and today I want to talk about a little feature available on iOS. It's called Assistive Touch and I ask you, my paperless movement community on Instagram and on Facebook, if you actually know this feature already. And I saw there are a lot of you don't know about this feature. So that's why I make this video telling you that it's available. And for those who know what this feature is, I have a, I have an opinion on it. And maybe you're sharing it with me that Apple actually is missing a big opportunity there if they use the assistive touch in a different way to really step up their productivity on their devices to the next level. And what I mean by this, I will show you now. So we are here now on my home screen on my iPhone actually and what you actually can see here on the right side I have this little um, icon here. So if I press this I have some functionalities and the thing is of course you can control your iPhone in many different ways you know using gestures and so on swiping up swiping down and so on actually what you can do with the assistive touch that you can actually control these gestures in a much more efficient way I would say so for example if I'm writing something something the way I undo things is shaking the iPhone and I hate it if I write something in email or something like that and I deleted something accidentally. So I'm shaking the iPhone and then I can undo it. It's just not as good. So let's just show you this. Let's go into Spark, write a new email. Blah, blah, blah. And let's write something and I will delete it now. And then usually I shake the phone and you see it comes up undo typing. So I do undo and it comes back. So let's delete again. And now I can just touch here, press shake and it does the undo button. So I actually integrated an undo into the assistive touch and that's already worth it I think to have this on your device. Okay, what you also can do is you can access the control center easily like this. Uh, you can access Siri. So, um, you can go to your notification section instead of swiping down. And the thing is, I'm using an iPhone XS Max. So it's the big one and you can't reach everything with your thumb. And that's what makes it really nice because usually I have to, I'm using it and then either I'm reaching up here to go to the control center or I'm swiping down there to get to the notifications. You know, it's a, a lot of movement going on here. So instead I'm writing something, tap here and then, you know, reach everything I need. Go to the control center, go back home and so on. It's much more efficient using the iPhone this way for me. And now I want to show you another little trick. Many of you know how I think annoying it is to close apps. Each app you're opening, it stays in the background. So if you swipe up the whole way, um, so you have all your open apps and then you have to swipe up to just close it. Okay, so let's just open some apps here. So we have some in the background open. So, okay. And now you can actually record gestures. So the swiping up, I can actually record. Then I can access this here in the custom section and then I go to swipes. And now you see, once I just tap on the, on the display, it will just swipe up. And now imagine if there are just many apps open, you just have to tap and close all of them. So that's a little workaround, how to fast close your apps. I'm still wondering why Apple still doesn't offer to close all apps at once. And now another thing, I'm also using shortcuts. So for example, if I'm tracking my nutrition and what I'm eating every day and so on, I actually using uh, Yesio. Yo, I really like this. If you want me to make a review about this, I can tell a lot about this. I'm using it since years now. And I have something I'm eating daily, like for example, coffee with milk and so on, or a banana and so on. So usually I have to go in into Yesio plus button and then breakfast and then go for meals and then I take the coffee thing, okay? So these are a lot of gestures. What I have here is now shortcuts. So I just press the button auto coffee and it's done. It's already in there. It was just one press of a button and it is there. Let's see. 
See, it appears here now on the breakfast. I have the coffee thing. This is already much faster, but now I think if it would be possible to add widgets to the assistive touch, this would be a game changer. I really mean it. I mean, obviously, I can also, um, like here, I could put, I could put the, the shortcut also on my home screen. But what about shortcuts where, you know, like adding uh, a screenshot or make a screenshot, add it to a note or something like this, and I'm inside the app, okay? So usually if you're inside the app, you have to click on, on the share button, then go to the shortcuts and then choose your shortcut. And <laughs> I think it would be so much easier, always have this available, just go there and press the shortcut, done. This would be awesome. So Apple, if you are listening, please, focus a bit more on this. In my opinion, it's a really powerful uh, tool you have available already on your iOS. I'm really looking forward to what the iOS 13 will bring up. And um, I think it's a really an overlooked feature here. If you want to know how to set up the things I showed you just, like the gestures recording and so on, just go into the description. I will put a link to my website, paperlessmovement.com, to the blog, where I explain in detail how I use this, how I set everything up and so on for using the assistive touch. And uh, feel free to leave a comment there as well. Yeah really looking forward to have a discussion about what else we can do with this assistive touch tool there. I hope you liked the information. Give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel as usual. You are always welcome to join the Payless Movement community and I'll see you next time.